Hello, everybody. My name is Brian Mason. I'm a senior sales engineer with the Escala America. I represent the motion division in the California and Nevada territories, and I'm based in the Bay Area of California. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how and when to utilize a Escala serial converter. This will include functionality and application usage. Let's share my screen and dive in. Okay, so as you can see here, there is a servo amplifier that we call a servo pack. And at the bottom, CN2 connection, there is a spot for a serial converter unit cable and serial converter unit. Both would need to be ordered to complete the set. This particular application is for a linear servo motor, but not exclusively for linear motion. And I'll get into that in a little bit. So why would you need a serial converter? Well, if you are in a dual loop closed configuration on a system and the secondary or external or load encoder on another axis, does not have the Escala protocol, so long as the encoder supports one volt peak to peak sine cosine analog signal, we can convert to our serial protocol. That allows that encoder to connect to our fully closed loop option card built into the amplifier. And also, if their feedback provides encoder signals only, or a combination of encoder and polarity hall sensor signals, as you can see here, drawn out to a linear encoder cable or sensor cable. So that's kind of the gist of that. Going down here again, the CN2 connections showing the serial converter unit cable and the serial converter unit. So now let's go into more of the specifics behind the serial converter, including the part numbering scheme here. The selection table shows on the left-hand side the unit model and the distinguishing code for Heidenhain or Renishaw, for example. And also if polarity and thermal protector sensors need to be incorporated. On the right, there's a chart of applicable linear silver motors. These are ones with distinguishing codes such as 250, 251, et cetera, that are very specifically tied to a linear motor parameter set. And so you may not always have a specific linear motor set, could be a rotary motor as well, or maybe you just want something that's generic and unprogrammed. And that would have a suffix of 000. So you could be ordering a J003 or J006, H005-000, and that is a general part number. Scrolling further down, we see the characteristics and specifications tab. And by the way, all of this can be found in our Sigma 7 Servo System Technical Supplement Guide off our website. Under characteristics and specifications, you'll notice that there are two different models, one over 256 pitch and one over 4096 pitch. This indicates an 8-bit or 12-bit on the signal resolution. And so the output signal would be multiplied by those eight or 12 bits uh, in the serial converter unit. So that's where the conversion would be taking place based on the level of resolution that you require for your application, eight or 12 bit is what we have available to you. In summary, when would you need to have a serial converter in your system? Well, that would be, you'd want to incorporate a serial converter cable and serial converter unit in with a dual loop closed configuration where a secondary or load encoder does not have the Escala protocol and you'd like to convert it to our serial protocol. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something today and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.